What's up? You're rolling with another episode of Jits and Tits. Damn! The Jits and Tits podcast is brought to you by Remy Fit, the premier online training outlet for combat sports athletes. And after you get done training with Brandon Remy and your body's all banged up and need to heal, we're also brought to you by Alan Kava, Long Island's first and only Kava bar, serving exotic teas and relaxing elixirs that will help you recover after an intense training session. We're also brought to you by Rapid Restore, Long Island's leading restoration company, specializing in water damage, fire damage, and mold remediation. And the handsome man that will come up to clean up your mess, Ronnie Longlegs of Rapid Restore. Damn. Oh, hello. Yo, real quick, Dave, could you please explain to me why you're wearing the headphones that I purchased with my own money? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't respect you at all. Damn. Uh, that's why. All right, all I needed was White an answer. Belt. That's fine. That'll suffice. Because he could choke you out anytime he wants. You're wild. Debatable. Debatable. Guys, I've been training a lot, man. You got to get the kids. So you have like seven respect. hours total you're, yo, in the last fucking Yeah, maybe six in the last two, three days. You got a you two, tree. You need a time machine to catch up to me, motherfucker. Yo, you need D Rock. Yeah, I need a time machine to go back no, in no. time because I passed you about fucking a week and a half ago. You need, <laughs> <laughs> you need D Rock to be. You need to be training for 10 years straight every fucking day. And then on top of that, you need D-Rock to be in a fucking coma where all he can lift is one eye. Because if he's got both (laughs) eyelids, he's fucking you up. Damn, dude. Damn. Debatable. That's that's, That's a big up from Luigi right there, too. I'm just. I mean, he's always gassing you, dude. This dude, he has a crush on you. He does, but you I know do. what? My best friend. <laughs> that's a, that's, but that's I as love this kid. Man. That's as a human being, though. I earn the skill love, though, because motherfucker knows the deal. Oh man, me and Luigi. Me and Luigi been through battles, kid. Yeah. On and off the mat. Yeah. We beat each other up on the mat. We've also gotten to a couple fisticuffs off the mat. Not not with each other, but no. oh, at the bar. What, what yeah. about the bedroom? Yeah, it's not fisticuffs. That's handcuffs. That's regular That's handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just handcuffs, bro. Yo, but real quick Actually, though, wait. D Rock might be one of the the few like close friends that I have that I haven't done like any kind the of group sex group with. Sex with. <laughs> like I've banged. haven't made sexy time with. <laughs> yeah, I I have I have I have some like boundaries. I've never yeah, yeah I've yeah. never been like there's a cup like. Out of like four or five of like my really close friends, I think D Rock's probably the only one that I haven't had sex with a girl with like with him at the same time. Wow, I'm proud of that too. Are you proud of that? <laughs> you don't feel left out? No, not even a little bit. I guess I feel left out. I'm though. also I'm also still the only person that you've trained with for several years that has not tapped your body triangle. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, you, you, and, and Derek, but that's that's a whole nother fucking. Well, you that's know what? A whole different I'll take I'll take being yeah, in the same category the with him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ryan was telling me that he's like he's like Luigi doesn't even try to sub- he tries to get me to tap like from not even like submissions. He just tries to like pressure me into tapping. Like, Who's that? Ryan. Ryan. Uh, oh, tattoo Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yo, real quick though, sounds like a little shit talking for Ryan, dude. Real quick though, R O R R I P to Ronnie Longlegs. Oh, oh yeah, we, lo- we lost yeah. a good one, dude. We lost a good one. I haven't Ronnie seen that was dude. fun while it lasted, but um, we lost another soldier to. Yeah, women. we got Pat we, here. We now. got Pat now. What are you talking about? I'm right Tra- here. Tra- <laughs> I just went to Florida, got a little tan. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Transformation Tuesday. It's <laughs> yo, Damn. we should throw that up on the podcast. Transform on, yo, on the Instagram. Transformation Tuesday. Someone just do it right now, like side by side. Someone do it right now on it. Jujitsu, the jujitsu transformation. Look what jujitsu could do for you in just six months. <laughs> it's a better look. It's a better look. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! Yo, That's so we haven't been here for a while, boys. No, not yeah. yeah. We went a little dry, a little Two California weeks. raisin. Yeah, Jesus robbed us of uh, last, <laughs> last Sunday. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how, how did, I, I don't really understand. How does Jesus coming back from a tomb fucking make kids go look for eggs? Or involved, and, and how the fuck does a bunny lay eggs anyway? Yeah, I know. Where the hell did oh, any man. of this shit come from? I never really Yo, thought of it like that. It's all weird. I hit a this crucifix deep, last bro. week, though. Did you? On yeah. Sunday? On Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Or that's just a joke? I crucifixed uh, Josh. We did a private, so I hit him with a crucifix, you know, in honor of Easter. Oh, oh. You, you were planning. It was premeditated. You were like, I'm going to try and hit this today. D-Rock put in an envelope. He's like, Josh, <laughs> this is what I'm going to get you in. <laughs> <laughs> like, Gordon Ryan, I walked out. It was just a picture of Jesus on the cross. Yeah. And it wrote, who's next? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so it's been a minute. Feels uh feels good to be back here with the boys minus yeah. one. Nope, plus another. Lost a soldier to another woman, but uh 
It happens. It happens. We're moving on. Shit happens. And uh, we'll get him. We'll get him back. He said he's going to be at class uh, Monday night. He's got a competition um, coming up at the end of the month. A lot of people uh, um, from our gym. He's got a competition right now with Pat. Pat. Pat, 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 Pat's in competition with Ronnie. He might steal a spot. So this is an interview then. This yeah, this is pretty much an interview process right here. Interview process. Fuck, I'm sweating. Yeah, just, but that, just wait till the cameras go off. That's all. That, that's, that's the, the only r- part you got to be nervous. That's the about. real. That's the real that's interview. The real test. That's when it really starts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's the real interview right there. By the way, this is all for you, Pat. We got the mat set up in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the night is gonna be fun though, for Definitely. sure. Atlantic wait. City, man. Can't wait. I can't wait to see Terrence lose all of his money. Dude, I'm just saying, bro. What the fuck? Yo, are the streets, guys, the, the are, streets are talking. You're not that strong. Yo, right? you're wiling in for the that. casino, bro. You're insane. The streets or, are talking, dude. Man. You, the whole point of us going down there was you were gonna support me, unlike my wife who like sits there and roots for me to fucking lose my money <laughs> so we could just go to bed. <laughs> well, and, now you're, and now you're telling, now you're keeping that exact same energy. So you gotta yeah. find your own way down there. Dude, you're come no on, longer bro. welcome in the truck, dude. Well, no, I guess I guess that's my focus. She was the streets that were talking. I know. She's an idiot. Terry, I'll, Yo, I'll go you, with you. I'll gamble with you. Fuck yeah. Ooh, are you guys go. even coming to the tournament or are you just fucking gambling the whole time? We're weekend? coming to the tournament. Are you yeah, I'll be there at the tournament. I don't gamble. Not for any of your fucking matches, but we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going down to AC, I'm not going to the tournament. I'm going to gamble with Terrence. Dude, <laughs> the I'll entire time. Yeah, I'm not. It's going to be amazing. But uh, yeah, Are I'm, you even allowed to like go to the tournament and be like a spectator? Yes, you're allowed Luigi, a, you're well, allowed a spectator. What are you gambling ticket? with, though? Are you going to throw your dick on the craps table? His Bitcoin. <laughs> no herpes. gambling with that. That's gambling enough. No, uh, with 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 Naga though, when you purchase to register, you have to buy a spectator ticket. So you don't no have to. no no you do though. Like so if I want to go and I didn't have a spectator ticket, I couldn't pay yeah. for a ticket at the door. Yeah, there's no outdoor tickets. Right. So yeah, yeah. so the people who are registering have to buy a spectator for ticket. For us for us. I yeah, think we're just gonna give them like the money. To buy one when you registered. No. no, you don't have to, but if you want someone right, to come right, and watch, right. yeah. you have to buy a spectator's ticket. Yeah, and we have a bunch of people competing. So um they told like Danny and Jamie told me like if you guys want to come just let me know and we'll have somebody like make sure obviously we're gonna pay for it. It's only like fifteen bucks or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fifteen. Old. That's yeah. all. Yeah, that's, fifteen that's what, for you. I'm going down. Early. I think I'm going to go down day early and, and do some fishing. Even Are earlier, you? you're going to go down Friday. Yeah. Oh, okay. What no, are you going to no, no. What are you going to fish Saturday. for? Stripers, Toma- bro. tomato cans, and striped bass, plastic bags. <laughs> it's fucking Jersey, dude. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> crackheads. What are you looking <laughs> yeah, for down there? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jersey. Nick, did you buy fucking your spectator ticket yet? Ronnie's giving me his. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. But I I know the I'm friends with the owner Not of though. Naga. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So. So tell him to hook up with some merch, dude. I want to leave with some merch, bro. Yo, yo, let me get a motherfucking samurai sword. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, he only talks to black belts. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) 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 One one year one year I competed in Naga and uh, my buddy competed as well, and he got like knocked out the first like fight. Like his first match he was done for the rest of the day. So here I am, I'm up on the podium, I get my shit. And we're in the car driving home. He's like, yo, I, I got something for you, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, what'd you get me? He fucking pulls out of his gym bag. It's the banners that go on the tables. <laughs> it says Naga match like one or whatever it was, like table one. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, how'd you get that? He's like, well, the question really is how'd I get this? And he pulls out from the back seat a fucking samurai sword. Dude, it's so <laughs> sick. He's like, I was getting it one way or another, bro. You know, like I was, <laughs> yeah. Whether I win or not, like that was fucking mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking home a samurai, so I don't give a shit. That's I was man, like, dude, that's awesome. That's kind of balls. I didn't think they were actually real. I got, I have like one or two of them, and you know I never crazy? like opened them because yeah, really? you know, like they come with the case and all. Mm-hmm. I would just, I just them. threw it like in the closet. Yeah, and I didn't realize they were real till like probably a few years ago. Oh wow! Like I got it ten. Like I was like a blue belt or. Purple belt when I got it. They're not sharp. That's the thing. They don't come sharp. They have a point, but they, the blade itself isn't sharp. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but that's I didn't okay. think it was. I thought it was like a plastic fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. I didn't think it was an actual samurai. Yeah, because when he, you can get it sharpened, of course, yeah, yeah, of course yeah. you can. Well, but yeah. When, yeah, when he had it, dude, like we were throwing like water bottles up in the air. We were throwing like tomatoes and watermelons. And oh that my shit, god, I seen a video. That like shit that. was not cutting through any of it. Yo, really? did you ever? No. Did, there's a video when a guy puts like something in his in his mouth, like say it's like a banana or something, and they're they're all. Oh, drunk, I saw this and he video. Cut, he cuts the guys the tip of his yep. nose off. Fucking dude, it nasty. was fucking bad, bro. It nasty. was bad. It was just dangling. Yo, I lost every medal I've ever won. Oh, you just can't. You <laughs> yeah. just can't find it. I can't find it. I didn't even realize we uh, last uh, Friday night after Sam's birthday dinner. I drove Mac home, and he gets in the back seat, and he's like, 
lifts up a bunch of medals. He's like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, I didn't even know those were in there. It's like medals from the good fight and shit like that. He's like, why do you have these here? I'm like, dude, honestly, I've lost every medal I have. Those are my like, those are my good field medals. When I'm feeling down, I just look at my back yeah, seat. And I see them. I lost like my ADCC medal. I lost that. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I've lost like I'm every surprised medal. you didn't try to hang on to like some of like the... I did at one point, but then I guess like when I moved and shit, I shit just... got lost yeah, in the move, just yeah. got lost. And I think... I had. Well, you've given a few of them to the gym, though, to hang up and shit. Yeah, no? like a couple belts I have yeah. that I, that are at the gyms, and then like the belts are so. I cool. remember I did um, my old job. They had me do career day <laughs> oh, at the middle school, gosh. and I brought like a couple of the medals in, and they I, they were in my trunk, and I think I left a few of them in my lease when I turned them in. What the, ki- <laughs> the kids or the? Yeah, I brought the medals. To- <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't realize what you meant. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of those too. Yeah, Honda's Honda's big into fucking roomy you know, trunks, human trafficking. Yeah. So I got a couple. I got a couple. They knocked off a couple miles per kid. You yeah, know? yeah. Honda's the uh, the transport the transport for uh, what is it Wayfair or whatever. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's you, like you order you order a table. Like a it's, a, it's, it's a, a Honda. Fun. It's a Honda Accord, thirteen year old. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I kept I kept all my shit, dude. I was good like that. Because when I'm 80 years old, man, I want to look back and, and have some kind of memory. I thought know? I thought it was cool how you had, like, all your old belts, like, in, like, uh, that, like, big, like, mason jar kind of thing. Yeah, when yeah. You, I have all, all the JITS belts from, like, white belt all the way up. Yeah, I even cool. I lost all those. I wanted to get one of those, um, whatever, the things to hang them on. Yeah. I can't find any of my old belts. Really? I have the one belt that I wear, and I have the one, the other one that um, they got engraved for me, like, when they gave me my belt. Mm-hmm. But, like. White through brown, I have none of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, I kept all of them. I got like a mason jar at my house. I just have them all rolled up in the mason jar. Yeah, I should have did something like that. Yeah. I got a belt that like came with my gi and it's kind of <laughs> shitty and I didn't get striped up yet. So I might buy like a 90. I feel like people have like the 93 brand belts. Yeah. I kind of like the, is it the 93 brand? What's the one that has like, they have a little quote on it or something like that. I um, might just look into like getting like I a belt that isn't a total piece of shit. <clears throat> Samble. What, that's oh, your belt? Samble. Yeah, yeah. Ninety three. I think it says like achieve or something. Like it says something. It says on something the like on the mine, back mine of the belt. It. Yeah. It's, it's got some kind of quote. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but those those look pretty cool. I think that cool. you have your black belt's ninety three brand, is it not? Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. I might get ninety three. They're not like a ton of money. They're like ten bucks. I was thinking sure. about taking that belt and putting it in the jar and just buying a new one. Oh yeah, freshy. Yeah, but I want to beat that black belt up a little bit though. Yo, yeah, rem- you got to wait till it falls apart. Yeah. Remember when you got. <laughs> You you posted like uh, I don't know like a month or so ago about like it was like a blast from the past like when you got your black belt yeah and then a bunch of people were like, we're like reaching out yeah you're like congrats dude <laughs> yeah, it's like yo yeah. whoa whoa I've been a black belt for years my guy I'm just bringing back yeah memories yeah that right was here. my bad I never do like Throwback Thursday on there and I just <laughs> fucking posted and everyone's like oh congratulations I'm like yeah three years late dude. yo I've been had when this I, shit. when I finally officially get my black belt I'm gonna put TBT on it. <laughs> <laughs> just get in great hashtag TVT. Oh my god! Because <laughs> it should have been about four years ago. Yeah, it's all right though. When it comes, it'll be nice. No, I don't know. Rolling with you, I felt like there was like still some work to be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, what do you think? What do you, what should Dave's I work gonna on? smash me next time. No, I want to hear. Open what, that. Let's hear. What do you What do you think? What do you think I can tighten up in my game? I don't want to fucking air you out on the podcast, though. We'll talk after no, it's private. No. Yes, you do. Let's hear it. No, it's, hear about, it. it's about growth here, boys. It's not about like putting your homies down. I know. This is, this, is part of, this is part of growth, though. Help them grow. Yeah, dude. Right. Help me grow. Like, mostly right, so, in my pants right now. All right. So yesterday, um, Brandon and myself were drilling, helping each other grow, working on our guard passing. And I was coming on too straight on. Like, you were supposed to cut yeah, like from so like a 40 body. <laughs> <laughs> so Eddie comes walking around. And like I kind of felt like his, his hook was able. Like, he would be like, he would have butterfly hooks in. And then I would like invert my knees, like internally rotate them or whatever, step over. And then when I, when I went to the side, we were doing a shin trap. You're a shin trap, dude. So anyway, (laughs) different, different, but it was still, I'm, I'm just talking about the beginning of the drill and now we're working into the second drill. So now we're doing, have to do with me. That's nothing. I'm just sick yeah, of fucking so talking about you, dude. Moving on. <laughs> no, this you is Dave. Like, Dave, you're, Dave, you're gonna on. like this one. You're gonna like this one. It's fucking. It is. It, it is a good story. So, so yeah, we're working like the shin traps, or whatever. I was coming too straight on. Eddie's like, no, you have to come in on more of an angle, like a 45, so you could like trap it. So I did it, and Remy's like, oh, it feels good. He's like, it feels good. It feels good for me. Does it feel good for you? And I'm like, I'm like, yo, it sounds like we're fucking for the first time. Like, <laughs> you stick it in. It's like it feels good for me. Does it feel good for you? So then he's like a little fucking high. So then he starts laughing. I start laughing and I'm on top and I just spit my teeth out on the mat and I'm like god fucking damn it Remy <laughs> I know I'm surprised you roll with those things in dude dude it's like a couple more days I think the 13th dude, get a fucking I'm mouthpiece. supposed to get them 
Weren't you supposed to get them like four I went, times already? In the last yeah, yeah, but they look like o- they look so like oversized chiclets. Though. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> Luigi, they looked horrible. And I'm like, I say to them, they're like, they're like, wait, yeah, was you, this was this after they didn't fit? Because didn't they not fit, and then you had to go back? Yeah, exactly. I saw like, so, so, <laughs> and then, all right, exactly. Luigi, this this is this is like so stretched out. At first, they they told me it's gonna be two weeks. They get them. Then no, after like this the second week, they're like, yeah, we're not gonna have them, so we got to push it back another week and whatever. So then that's three weeks. I go in there, they didn't fit because, like, you know, the angle of them was off. Yeah. So then they go, like, all right, another two weeks. So they said that to me. I'm like, all right, it took three weeks to make them last time. Now these people are going to get it done in two weeks. Sure enough, they call me again. They're like, yeah, we need to wait another week. So then it, that puts us at, like, fucking six weeks. And then the teeth came in. They put them in, and they're like, what do you think? They weren't, like, usually, like, oh, my God, they look so good. Like, you have to see them. They're like, so what do you think? And I see these fucking giant, like, there's something about Mary teeth. <laughs> Terrence, and Terrence started crying instantly. <laughs> no, I didn't start crying. But she's like, what do you think? I'm like, what do you think? I'm like, we can't put these fucking things in. Like, they, like I'm like, they're way too big and they're way too white. <laughs> <laughs> so then she's like, okay, like, we're going to try and, like, reset them or whatever. So now this is going to be my another three-week thing. So, yeah, I was, I was promised teeth, like, I don't know, three months ago. <laughs> On top of the fact that it's already been, like, over, like, two years. That sucks. Do you think that could be why you had the seizure because you're waiting for the maybe teeth. yeah i'm just frustrated on that <laughs> i'm just i'm stressed <laughs> just so stressed to the teeth you gotta i'm not even stressed from. but like the teeth were, luigi they look so bad to the point where i would have been like this flipper falls out of my mouth because the guy shaved it down like this these don't look that bad though like i would just have them make a new flipper and just not have teeth that's yeah, how bad you, like the permanent teeth look did you get a picture of it yeah, yeah but it doesn't do it justice how fucking bad it uh, looked uh, yeah the picture didn't look bad i saw the picture he really i saw it and i'm like this doesn't look that bad but like in person it looked like it was like a joke it's crazy how they can like match your teeth color yeah. with crazy. like the fake ones you yeah know? it's pretty sick that's well, dope this though. flipper is pretty close to my teeth color yeah no it is i i mean i wouldn't have been able to tell that you had a flipper in dude just get that i know i might get, get it permanently because it's get it two is. get one gold and one regular yeah, yeah. dude no because it is you funny should. to whip them out like it's instant humor it is but at the same time it's like it's annoying eating. can you can you get one made in gold a flipper yeah i probably yeah i probably get, yo if these teeth look like shit i might just get gold teeth <laughs> 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 it looks so hood though which is kind of fire yeah, you want gold teeth, dude. I would definitely do like one. Or like, into it. I would. Are you, in, are you into the whole thing? Into it. Hundred percent down. Get the gold teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them to AC. You know what I'm saying? You can gamble with those. Dude, <laughs> there's all the money's out. Yo, hold on, hold on. I got some. <laughs> yeah. Ter- Terrence is at the poker table with fucking gold teeth. Teeth. You can only wear them when you're up, though. When you're up, you put the gold ones yeah. in. It's over. We see Terrence with this gold smile. You know what I'm saying? Bling across the casino. He's winning. He's winning. I really, I really am so excited to go to Atlantic City for the tournament. I've never been to a tournament before. Watch all my friends compete, win a shitload of fucking money. Hopefully, Luigi comes. I don't know if I, Luigi's coming. I might. I mean, if I go, I'm not going for the tournament, but I'll go. F- I'll go to gamble. Well, I won't sleep. It'll be. I mean, I'm driving, so I might have to sleep a little bit. Yeah, you might have to sleep. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna come to watch me in my first tournament, Luigi. No. <laughs> Just go fuck myself. <laughs> I guess I'll go fuck myself then. I mean, I'll train with you, like. The, the day before, like help you get ready, but I'm not. Tell you good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you good. I'm staying at the. I'm staying at the uh, blackjack table if I go there. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna say any names, but I meant to tell you guys this, man. So you ever walk in on somebody that's taking a shit? <laughs> ah, this was, dude. You were there were tears. I've never seen you laugh so hard. Dude, you had tears it was down your face. it was fucking out of control. So like I said, I'm not gonna say that any was names. So funny. He couldn't even get the story out. We're like, Nick, what happened? And he's like crying. Dude, I was crying, like literally, like tears running down my face. So I run to the back to go take a leak, and like the door is closed, the lights are off. So I knock just to you know play it safe. I open the door. I'm like two feet into the bathroom where like the door still opened and I was just going to like have the door closed behind me and hit the, the light switch. So like before I let go of the door, like I'm like a foot away from the toilet bowl, dude. Like I'm like I could kick the toilet bowl. That's how close I was. <laughs> so my hand's still on the fucking door and I hit the light switch and there's a dude taking a shit. In the, the dark. In, in the dark. In the dark, bro. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> the shit was the shit was awkward. It's so fucking Awkward. funny. It's I've had cool. people. I've had people walking on me with the light on, taking a shit. Not here, but in a public. Restaurant. Did you make eye contact? Yes. <laughs> did he? Did you guys? Did you freeze? Did I've, you say sorry? Did he say anything? I was like, oh damn! And I fucking just turned around and closed the door. Well, at I least was he like, wasn't jerking off. Yo, that would have yeah. been a whole different story. That would have been, that been a different story, bro. <laughs> that would have been. That would have left. Yeah. Because what do you say after that? Yeah. Like he has to come out of the bathroom at some point. Oh, we're <laughs> like, not. We're not making eye contact. Yeah. Like, no. do you, oh, so you're just gonna pretend like it never happened? Fuck yeah, dude. Do you never come here again? Uh, Probably. Or <laughs> yeah. well, I'll never use the bathroom again. Yeah, that's the end of that. Did you just piss through the kid's legs? 
I was gonna say, yeah, you should have just pissed. <laughs> that would have been cool. My aim's not that good though. You like, should just shut the you're door. You're not the one shitting, so what does it matter? <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess you're right, bro. You should have just shut the door. Like, it made would, it more uncomfortable, walked in and just closed the door. My shit's like 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 after sex piss, like the first like burst. Where it sprays. It shoots yeah, out yeah, you're, you're aim what, really. You, you used to have a dick piercing or something? You aim really good, but then it still comes out to the left and you miss the ball a little bit. <laughs> you know? I've you, been there. You ever see like that... Uh, it's like a meme. It's like how to how to pee with a boner, and, and it's just a, it's just plank a ju- over the toilet yeah. bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah, funny. well that's legit, man. Like you have a morning board and you try to take a piss in the morning, like you're literally laying on the toilet. Yeah, you can't bend that thing down. You gotta put aim. the hand. Yeah, yeah. Lean your weight into the hand on the wall. Yo, I seen yeah. like I seen like old dudes at Unique pissing like that, like slamming the hand on the wall <laughs> and wearing like really short like track shorts and just pulling his dick out the bottom of the oh shorts. My God, so I'm like, dude. yo, fucking power moves only, dude. That is a power move. <laughs> I was trying. I had. I remember explaining about how hard it is to piss with a boner <laughs> to uh, Alexa. She don't understand. She'll she never understand, understand the like, struggle. Really I'm like, you have no idea. It's like. It's painful. It hurts. I'm yeah, like, but it's trying to like, bend. It's like trying to bend the stop sign yeah. down. It's but not sometimes, <laughs> sometimes though, it's like a second orgasm where you get that like shiver. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gross when you go to like the gym and like the old dude's pissing and he's just like grunting and moaning while he's pissing. Yeah, and shitting too. Like I don't understand. I don't understand <laughs> like how they make like so many noise shits. Like I, I, yeah, I try to be like as quiet as possible when I'm shitting in public, and these guys are like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You never know, though. Sometimes you can have an enlarged prostate and you could come every time you shit. <laughs> so that, yeah. that could be the reason. Wait, you have a friend like that, don't you? Oh, they, told that story. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, said that. Yeah, we, have, we have a friend like that. I'm just saying, that could be why they're grunting and moaning. Six. Oh, that they're coming while they're shitting. Yeah. They're coming. That's yeah. insane. <laughs> that's got to be so weird. That's, that's, a, that's so a, You probably look forward to shitting like even more. Yeah. I would eat Taco Bell every <laughs> hour. <laughs> every hour. <laughs> we call that a creamy shit. <laughs> <laughs> We started a group chat with that individual. We named it Shit Comes. Shit Comes. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's weird, dude. I don't know if I could fuck with that. I think I would, I would, I wouldn't shit until my shit was. If you have right. an enlarged prostate, like I don't even know how you get it to. Dude, that's gotta be, be normal. Super awkward. It's gotta awesome. be Sometimes, fucking like, incredible. Do you ever just take a great shit? Where you're like, oh yeah, and yeah. Then you just imagine you came on top of that. Sometimes like, you, you just, just gotta bust. Like, how, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need a good bust. Sometimes you just need a good <laughs> bust. <laughs> oh my god. You use a whole roll of toilet paper every time you would take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got toilet paper in fucking mountains in the closet. Yeah, you're dude. Saying, no, that's why you get. That's why you get bidets. That's why you go to Costco. Yeah, bidet. Ooh, you have bidet, bidet? your dick off. My boys are all into the bidets. They love them. I don't have them, but oh. I heard they're amazing. If you think about it, it's kind of gross. Like, like that thing actually washes your asshole. Whereas, like, we just kind of smear it around, and we're like, yeah, fuck it. Dude, the the toilet paper is gross. You're literally just. Yeah. And, shit and you say, I know, and you know what you so you, archaic, like you, what you fucking save twenty twenty one, bro. You, you save a bunch of money though, because like you just use toilet paper, like dry your fucking donut hole off afterwards, <laughs> just like a little bit. Use a fraction of the toilet paper, you know what I'm your saying? Your donut hole, your donut hole. Yeah, yeah, but that shit has to be messy though. If you had like a nasty shit, and that thing's squirting water at your ass, dude, like, I heard you're telling me that it's like no, nah, it's not. No, because it's just you just use a toilet paper to dry it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's not like you're standing up and doing it. You're just lift the leg and. Do you ever just shoot your like? You it's ever like a toilet seat. It's like, like they, they have one that you like yeah. replace you your like toilet seat. And they like <laughs> it's like squirts it in. Do you actually ever take a hose and just spray your? Yeah, ass like clean? you go to the beach and you get sand all over your feet or whatever, and you just spray sand uh, the hose on your feet to get the sand off. Yeah, it's just that for your butthole. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but Same I'm kind of with Nick. Like, I feel like like it's not like I don't know. I feel like that does have to get like wiped off though. Yeah, you yeah, dry you it off with toilet paper. Yeah. This is not a hard concept. No, I know it's not. It's no, like a towel I think after you get out of the shower. You no, it is. I'm just yeah. saying the, the initial like blast of water on the booty hole probably you, sprays Dave, the shit you, other Dave, places you hit that the, you don't want. Do you hit the towel like this after to dry off your ass oh, crack? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely. <laughs> Skid mark fucking towels. Absolutely. Your, your friends come over to the house and go to the bathroom. Like, yo, finger. don't use this towel. <laughs> yeah, use don't this use this towel. towel. <laughs> I go like this. I sit up. I take the towel, jam my middle finger up, and then just, you know. Work it in. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like sandpaper. Hey, you're prepping sandpaper. that sandpaper. You're, prep, you're prepping that <laughs> asshole for fucking butt sex. Dude, I'm trying to make it gritty so that Luigi can't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I can still get in. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. So we were He's watching a fucking plumber. Yeah, he'll figure a way to get in there. <laughs> we we were watching um all the grappling yesterday, so we missed the Holland, but what Holland got the beats laid on him last night? There was a takedown record or something you were yeah, saying. Yeah, that's Dave? what D Rock was saying. Wait, that he dude, fought again? 
Yeah, he yeah. fought. Oh, you just fought like two weeks ago. I'm like this guy. And he, remember, he was clowning the whole fight. Like yeah. I thought, the, I thought the guy would have like. Yeah, he lost. Taken, really? I think I, I heard he took it a little bit more serious though. This not fight. only did he lose, right? He had the record for middleweight takedowns set on him. Marvin Vittori took him down ten times, which is a middleweight that record sucks. for uh, one fight. Yeah, he got taken down ten times. So in I mean, a, in a three round expect, fight, though. Yeah, but what do you expect? I mean, the guy, you're not going to get better at wrestling in two weeks. So no. Nah. Yeah, I don't know Definitely why he not. took a. I don't know why he took it on like such short. Maybe he was trying to. Everyone was clowning on him, so he was trying to like eager to like prove himself. Wasn't his stock like through the roof before well, like the fight two weeks ago? Well, was, that's, that's wasn't the, he like the like? That's the thing. Like he um, next up, he had lost like two fights in a row, or whatever, and then he's known for wanting to fight constantly. So he kept. He fought five times last year, and he took a bunch of fights on short notice, and he went five and zero. Oh. So he was on a five fight win streak. He was ranked number ten. Went out, fought Brunson. Got piss mopped. Yeah. Two weeks later, turned around, did the same thing, got piss mopped again. So now he's zero two. I don't think he really got piss mopped versus Brunson. He I got f- piss mopped. Did he? Did I don't you know. Watch the fight. Yeah. No. I I just think he didn't do anything. Yeah. He, I, I'm saying, but I didn't think he got. got I, I don't think he got smoked. But he just like sat. He just threw a body triangle and laid. Yeah. He just did nothing. Yeah. I mean, listen, he didn't look he like didn't he, take got, a he took ton a ton of damage. Of, nah, yeah. But like in terms of the fight, he offered nothing up. So to yeah, it's a piss mop. Well, he offered all that hilarious commentary. That's true. Yeah, I could have done without that, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, okay. so it, it's kind of like making a joke. I was reading it before. He said that he's going to go work. He doesn't regret anything. He's going to go work on his wrestling with DC because obviously he needs to do it, but he said he's not going to change much in his fighting style, though. I heard his striking looked good, though. I feel like on the feet, someone said that he was looking pretty good. As yeah, they as said striking. he had like a few moments. Yeah. But, you know, what does, um, that, what does that mean? He never kept the pressure on. He had a couple, he had a couple stand-up moments where he would get explosive. And then he just calmed down, and then and then he would just get taken down. He just kept shooting. Well, that's the problem though. When you're going against a wrestler, though, you can't really like sit down on your punches and commit to him because you're afraid of the takedown. He probably needs to hit Terrence and Pat up and start working on his wrestling. Ooh, yo, Pat's wrestling like he he was drilling at his house, like watching YouTube videos, and like from one week to the next, it was night and day. Not even kidding. It got worse. Yo, one hundred percent. Nah, I got. I was in class and I was just having a shitty day, and I fucking. I was getting taken down by everyone. You ever have those days where you train and you're just like trash? Probably not you guys, but I have those, <laughs> I have those days. Like, and I'm like, fuck, I suck. So I went home and I was like, I literally did 300 takedowns, like just fucking repetitive for like an hour, oh, and what? um, just just shooting in, in the oh. air in my living room. And um, is that I went why? Back to class. Is that why you had to take three days off after that? Yeah, <laughs> literally, <laughs> I was so odd, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then yeah, I went in class and I was just taking people down. My level though, you know what I'm saying. Remy too, but <laughs> yeah. oh, no call outs. Damn. But Remy too. Damn. <laughs> I'll definitely never watch Holland fight again. That's why I didn't watch him fight on Saturday. I'm done with that dude. Fuck him. Dude, Remy was a little chippy yesterday. My man bought me in the eye, and then I'm pretty sure he broke my jaw. Oh my god. <laughs> with friends like this kid who needs enemies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the second time you fucking got your jaw broken, dude. Yeah, it would. Yeah, that would be. If it's broken, they're not wiring shut. That was trash. I'm like, I'm like, I'll just leave it. That's what I want to do the first time. I'm like, I was like opening and closing my mouth. I'm like, this shit works fine. Like, I don't get why we have to wire my jaw shut. Because if you bite on a stale bagel, that's it, dude. You're not gonna be able to close or open your mouth again. Oh, it just gets locked up. Well, yeah, it's yeah. Probably, it was probably a fracture. That's probably what it was. Your jaw was probably fractured, not broken. Yeah, and my cheek. And your cheek was fucked up. Yeah, I, but no, I, yeah, I have like plates in my head. Damn. Yeah, see my X-rays. I have so much metal in my mouth. You're like Wolverine. Yeah. Just Ooh. not strong or handsome <laughs> or cool or tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, you fucking ridiculous! Jeez. <laughs> not cool, not handsome. <laughs> fucking hot. loser. Fuck, I'm a loser, dude. No teeth. I don't have teeth. Wolverine's got like cool teeth. <laughs> he does have cool teeth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Terrence, bro. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, Terrence. Talk to me. Let's hear it. If you had to rate us based on your previous friend group, Pots. Who? Oh, where do you guys stand? Wait, wait, what's, the, what's the scale here? Oh, I don't know. Have we made you a better person, too? I think so. <laughs> I, I've definitely changed a lot since I started hanging out with you guys, I think. I feel like I'm uh, way more lit. <laughs> way more lit. <laughs> way more lit. <laughs> um, I thought you weren't allowed to use that word anymore. 
What with Taylor? Taylor's yeah, like, she's a hater. <laughs> she's yo, the I only one you. who. Has, she's the only one who has a problem with it. Dave loves it. I said, yo, you should only say lit. two things to her. <laughs> it's either lit or not, not lit. lit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing it because, like, I started saying it as a joke, obviously, because like kids are saying it. So I was like trying to say it to be funny. But then you guys ever do that? You start saying something like as a joke, like ironically, and, and then, then it just, it just becomes like you. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I didn't realize, like, in our text messages, like, whenever she says something to me, I just write lit in all caps. Like, it was, like, eight messages in a row. And she's like, I'm not even fucking talking to you anymore. I started doing fucking that, like, idiot. a couple of years ago. I think it was, um, when was the last Olympics? 2016 or something like that, right? The yeah, last summer Olympics. Beijing? And that's, like, when everybody started saying lit, all the kids. And I was like, what the fuck? So I just, everything that came up, I'd be like, yo, I heard the Olympic torch is lit. Right? Lit. And I'd always just do that. And everybody Wasn't it the got same year that I I didn't let the kid in because he said lit on the line and I was like no, yeah you're not allowed nah. yeah. <laughs> and you really didn't let him in yeah like he, he came no, up I really didn't he, he came up in. or something they were waiting online he was like excited to get in he was like 21 he's like yo this is lit and Luigi's like no no you're not coming <laughs> in <laughs> you can have this back I love that you guys have the power to do that yeah casino. it's amazing that's like a sick power to have and that's you guys so get funny. to stay like on Fire Island all fucking weekend with like you don't even have to pay for the room. Yeah, but their oh. room is like like an eight by eight though. But I yeah, know, but yeah. who cares? It's not like we're getting room a fucking is like prison, bro. Yeah, I know, but there's a ro- there's <laughs> a roof over your head. Like it, it, call it a big difference. We call it the Davis Park favela. Yeah, that's what it's, we think. It's, it's not like we're five dudes. It's not in like a we're in a room. fucking hotel room. Like I know, but you get no, to it's hang a out. motel room. They got it's literally. I'm just saying, it's not like we're in a fucking suite in the fucking Bellagio. Three bunk beds. Three bunk beds. Plywood with fucking eggshells on it. And the fucking the the wall for the bathroom is has holes in it and shit's fucked up. Dude, if it's free, it's for me. Yeah, but you're not sleeping on the beach. No, sleeping on the beach, it gets oh. fucking cold at night. I did it. Yeah. And like all the little fucking sand fleas come dude, out. Dude, it gets hard. fucking cold. People wonder why there. like we're all so comfortable with each other because it's like, dude, that whole summer we live on top of each other. Like I'll be taking a shit and people just walk in and brush their teeth. Luigi will be like jerking them that's, off. That's that's amazing. It's you just you it's gotta amazing. get that's it's a good thing amazing. we all do jujitsu because we're all real comfortable being close. Yeah, I th- I've brushed my teeth and took a shower like all while D Rock was shitting, like <laughs> It just is what it is. Yo, it's brushing your teeth in the shower is a fucking power move. I love that shit. No, I, I brushed my yeah. teeth at the sink, and then I went and took a shower, like, all while he was taking a shit. <laughs> just stepping over him. How'd it smell? Like shit. I mean, I'm a plumber. I'm kind of used to it. No, so. so it's just a regular thing. Like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Crazy. You've said that before, but Plus I can't Plus, the room, the room smells like shit as it is. <laughs> so it's just <laughs> like, an overall shit aroma. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just a shitty situation. It just, it like, it smells like farts. Testosterone, cum, and mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> and despair. Yeah, and low standards. And low standards. Yo, Luigi, uh, I was at a job one time. These dudes, like, saws all, like, an old pipe. And, like, when they hit, when they cut the second side, it hit the ground. And, like, a ton of roaches came out. And the apprentice was, like, freaking out. And the journeyman was like, pick it, fo- pick it up. Pick it up, you fucking pussy. Every pipe's got roaches in them. Your house has roaches in them. He's like, no, it doesn't. So is that common? Have you encountered that? Like uh, cockroaches in pipes? Yeah. yeah. Really? They love shit. Yeah, it's it's gross. I mean, bro. it's not. It's Dude, not they like all it's they all fucking, they all scat. No, not, not like every every pipe. piece of pipe has one. But like you see, you see that's something like yeah. you encounter. Yeah, roaches are nasty. Bro. How, wait, how are the how are the roaches in the pipes? Isn't I don't know. Like, like how do they there, not drown? Yeah, isn't there water? Yeah. Where they, they swim, dude. Those things survive fucking nuclear. Yeah, fucking that's true. They said they're. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Nick. It's 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 a known fact that like they they could survive like a nuclear. Like that's like how hardy they are. Yeah. Damn. Hardy. I, I did. Um, and I went. Um, that last fucking not the last hurricane, but um, the one that fucked up all the Rockways uh, in like 2011. Sa- Sandy. Sandy. Yeah, that was Sandy. We did. This thing where we um we put new boilers, we like redid all these houses for everybody for like a, it was like a FEMA thing, but in like the, the, in the Rockways, yeah, yeah. Every house I went to, and we had to run like new gas mains for them and shit because the gas is the gas was like all fucked up. It got water in line, and everything. So we had to run all new gas lines for people. Every time I took a fucking stove out to get the pipe behind the stove, it was fucking wall of roaches. Holy there was shit. one. There was one house. I it like. Their kitchen counters and shit were black, so I was like, oh, that was... I'm like, that's fucking weird. They painted... And this is the first time, like... <laughs> it was the first time I saw it, so I'm like, that's weird. They fucking painted the back wall black. Oh and my God. Um, the kid I was with, I was like, yeah, just drill a hole, like, right here. He goes to open the wall. And it moved, and <laughs> Dude, it was moving. roaches. Yeah. It was just a fucking wall of roaches. I was like, I'm like, all right, hold on. We got... And then I tell him, like, dude, we're not doing this right now. Yeah, you can't. Oh. I'm like, nah, we... 
they got to get their shit cleaned yeah, up. Exterminated, yeah. That, Yo, because if, if any of those roaches are pregnant and you step on them, those eggs will go in like the, yeah. the roofs of your shoes, and then you'll bring, bring that home, home to your house. Oh, man, your car. That's yep. fucking it's, horrible. It's gross, man. I worked at Cable, dude, and I went to a house one time. Nice little family. And uh, the kid was saying how his TV didn't work in his bedroom, so he had like a 13-inch old-school TV on top of the cable box. And the, the closet was, like, throwing up on the on the TV. Like, it was just, like, overflowing. So I'm like, yo, you got to move some clothes and shit so I can move, move this TV for you. And he's like, yeah, no problem. So he moves the clothes. I literally lift this TV up off the cable box. And these goddamn co- cockroaches were, like, skydiving. They were, like, just jumping off the cable box, dude. I dropped the TV, and I was like, I'll be back. I fucking went to my truck, started that shit up. Got the fuck ta- out of there. Tail lights, baby. They didn't see <laughs> shit. Yo, totally off subject. Something I just came across I think it's worth discussing. Let's hear it. Newsweek published something in a poll. 46% of the people polled support The Rock running for president. Uh, yeah, I, I saw, I saw that earlier in the week. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what do we think about that? At least 46% of Americans would support a presidential run from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, according to a new poll. The that motherfucker's pro- soft, yo, bro. The, Dave, the problem the with... The, rock, no, son. I like Fuck The Rock. The Rock, bro. No, the, the problem with these polls, though, is like they'll poll like a thousand people. They'll poll people. retards, I know so that. You might, like, no, not even that, but just like a thousand people. Like Whoever these, really gets polled. Like, have you have you ever been walking anywhere and someone's like, hey, you want to take a poll? Yeah, but when you look at the... Uh, <laughs> no, I know, no, but it hasn't. When you look at like the 2016 election, like Trump was getting killed by like Hillary and then the election comes about and he beats her. So like the polls are all well, they don't, fuck the polls. It's not it's not a big enough sample size. Like how you, do we feel about you, the rock? You can't ask a thousand fuck, I, fuck the uh, rock. Really? Why yeah. do you not Why? Dude, that he's guy's bitch. awesome. He's, no, he's a bitch, bitch, dude. He's, he's a, a fucking movie. He, star. Was, he was he was I'd living have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dude, yeah. Yo, his his only plan in life I'd rather was, have to the Undertaker. Be, was to be a professional uh football player and he was living out of his he didn't get drafted after like U- University of Miami he graduated. He had like seven dollars in his pocket and he was living out of his car. Yeah, my brother looked, was no, he rocked the fanny pack too. And, Dude, my yeah. brother my brother was living out of his car. Look where he is now though. So yeah, but yeah, look where the rock is now. Hold on, but all all bullshit aside. You wouldn't you wouldn't be down for the rock? Because, like let's be honest, the I'd last be down. the last two elections we've had nothing but garbage for president uh, presidential candidates it was just like the lowest of the fucking common denominators dude what does he know about politics he yeah, picks things up what, what, is, what, did, what did anybody what does else know about politics well, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not voting for the rock dude I'm gonna get a potato gun I'm gonna load that shit so up right, so if you, you had a choice with a guy that Bud Light can and you got the rock chest. and Joe Biden who you picking Sleepy Joe are you serious? What? Yeah, dude, You're he's, wild. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> capping. <laughs> I'm so capping, dude. bro. Yeah, that, yo, Eddie the other night, we're like hanging out, and he's like, he's talking about like some shit, and he's like, Terrence, can I borrow your hat? And I'm like, well, he's like, can I borrow your hat? And he takes my hat, and he puts it on top of his head, and he goes, he's capping. And he was going <laughs> like this, bro. And he's ridiculous. Yeah, no, The Rock, though, I can't get behind The Rock. Wow. I don't, I don't I know. You really t- just like The Rock? Yeah, you know, I feel like you're the first person that I've encountered that like has a problem with The Rock. I feel like everyone's like Luigi. You, you like know, The might Rock? Might not love him. I I like him as a person. Luigi, I just, like, Luigi, you're on a, my side. You like The Rock? I, I don't like his political views. So isn't he a lib? Isn't he soft or no? Yeah, I mean at least that's what he does. Like that's what he puts on like on social media and shit. So like I just uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just I don't agree with it. So yeah. I'm not gonna back him. Yeah. Listen, I'm not saying. In a normal time, I would be like, yeah, The Rock should be president. But, I mean, based on what's been happening lately, that's what it's coming down to. It's like yeah. all celebrities. It was Donald Trump. People talk about Oprah, this and that. Honestly, though, Donald Trump is a better president than The Rock. Trump's well, a you don't know that yet. You don't know that yet. Trump all day, kid. Oh, I'm God just saying, damn. like, Facts. based damn. on what's been going on lately, like, and honestly, you know who I think, if I'm being serious, who I think should run for president is DeSantis from Florida. I was just yeah, about to say that. It's either him or the... But, um, uh, the governor, um, Texas, Texas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan, uh, uh, no, that's Crenshaw's not the governor. He's a senator from there. Though. No, yeah, Crenshaw would, would be good though. Well, Crenshaw, that's who I'm talking about. Crenshaw no, would be Cren- good. Uh, Crenshaw. DeSantis would be good. Ted Cruz. Tulsi Gabbard Ted Cruz, would be good. Tulsi would be amazing. That's but, what I, that's what I'm about. Let's be honest. None of those people are probably going to get their chance because they should. So if it came down to like the rock or whatever other lowest common denominator were offered, I'd probably go for the rock. I'd I take the rock. If you had the rock or Joe Biden. Because yeah, obviously Biden, if Biden makes it through the next four years, he's going to run again for re-election. Yeah, but if not, Democrats it's going to be Kamala gonna... Harris. So you got Kamala Harris or The Rock. The, the Rock yeah. wouldn't run, Dude. but The Rock's not going to run. You don't know that Republican. No, he would have to. He's a Democrat. He wouldn't run for Republican. Run, is he? Is to. he a Democrat though? I didn't know he was yeah. a Democrat. You sure, Tulsi, Tulsi. I'm pretty sure. Tulsi, I guess. If, I guess. If what, like, I mean, unless he runs independent, but like most of the well, shit. The Democrat. He, you can't the run Democratic nominee is going to be either Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. Yeah, that's trash. I mean, I guess if The Rock did run and he won, at least the gyms would be back open again. 
The Dude. gyms would always be open. <laughs> 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 That'd be he'd, the last he'd thing. He'd make a close. mandate that they're all 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah everyone has to go to the gym. You're yeah. required to like spend time. Steroids would get legalized. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. Yep. Yo, that guy can eat, man. Like, he'll po- I follow him on Instagram. Like, he'll post like his like sushi night. And oh it's like, God, dude, it's, it's, crazy. it's like you know what? 15 right. rolls. And then he. If The Rock like, goes for 24 hour gyms, legal steroids, and every fucking restaurant has to be like an all you can eat buffet, uh, uh, you, you can get behind it. You can get behind it. Dude, but Tulsi was awesome. She was in the military. She actually absolutely torched Kamala Harris, like shit all over her. And it, it was sad that like she was like so much more qualified than like Biden and like so much more progressive. And like, I mean, they're supposed to be like the more yeah, progressive party. She was like 80 years old. And she, he's, didn't like, get, she didn't get the votes at three in the morning when no one was around. So. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, shit the, the shit that I loved the most edgy. was uh, Biden's son coming out talking about his crack addiction. The, the Parmesan, dude, I've smoking smoked more Parmesan, Parmesan, cheese. Parmesan cheese and crack. Thinking of anything that Did resembled you hear that, crack. Man? Yeah. How, and like people are like glorifying that, like it's something to be fucking proud of. Like, dude, yeah. he's shot. No, it's great I, that Joe says he's the smartest guy I know. Meanwhile, his guy, his son, smoking fucking Parmesan cheese. I know, dude. It's crack. Any, yo, he said in an interview, anything that resembled crack. He would smoke it. So he said he smoked more Parmesan cheese because he'd be on his hands and knees looking through the carpet. Oh, my God. Yeah. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? So ridiculous. And people are going to interview it, you know? Stupid. Yeah, so what's up with this question of the day? Oh, we got one? Well, I just... Because Sean up. fucking left us out to dry today. No, but we got a question. No, I know, but oh, I was going to hit him question- the call because he... We, we we discussed it with him and he wanted to go off on it. So should we try calling Sean real quick and get into yeah, it? Yeah, try right, it. Let's try it. Are you hooked up to the Bluetooth? Nah, I'll hook myself up to it. Go ahead, Pat. Go piss. Yeah, you go piss. I'll uh, I'll hook myself up to the to the Bluetooth here. And then Man, we'll, Ronnie we'll give, never. We'll give Sean a call. Ronnie never took a piss in the middle of a podcast. Uh, damn, everyone's going to piss. Oh, I am connected. All right, so damn, bro, you got it, Pat. All right, so should I give Sean a call? All right, and then. Uh, He's he's not gonna hear us through the mics. So we have to talk through your speakerphone, right? It's dialing. How do? Oh, it's just lit up. Or? I wonder if you could hear. Uh, me. I think it's on. No, I, I, I hear him good. Oh, you can hear him. Okay. I wonder if he's gonna hear me. My heart's beating fast. <laughs> Please pick up. Please pick up. Let's just keep calling people until they answer. Let's call Eric Ott next. Done. Isn't he on a plane? Yeah. He's got Wi-Fi. Your call has been forwarded to an. Should we leave a voicemail? Nah. All right. There you goes that. You want to call Eric Ott? What are we going to ask Eric Ott? The question of the day. No, he's not going to have anything for us. Well, we'll just wait till these two guys go back, and then we'll do the one that kid submitted. I thought that was no, a good question. I'm calling Eric Ott. Please leave your message uh, for... I'll write to voicemail. All yeah, right, so let's, let's call Jeff and just let's, call him um, a bitch for not showing up today. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's get into the question then. Yeah, so, we, got, we got, pull, Yeah, pull up the question. One sec. That was on our Jitsen. So we finally right? got a... a <laughs> yo, dude, shut the fuck up. Dude, you do this every fucking Sunday, man. Like, it's getting Jesus ridiculous. Christ, Get the guy. fuck out of here, bro. Sick of your shit. So anyway, we finally got a user-generated question. We've been asking for questions. Somebody finally DM'd the podcast uh, page and came up with a fire question. Shout out. Who, who asked the question? We got uh, to give him a shout. I'm looking for him right now. I don't know what his name is. I think his name was Ronnie. It, his name was Ronnie. Was it Ronnie? Yeah, yeah but it wasn't Ronnie. Wasn't our Ronnie? No, it wasn't our Ronnie. No, it wasn't Ronnie Long Legs. All right, it was uh, Ronnie Mangano. So he says, "Got a fucked up question for the questions of the day for you guys. You've got to watch your parents fuck every single day, and the only way you can stop it is to jump in there and make it a threesome one time. Are you just watching them fuck every day for the rest of your life, or are you biting the bullet and f- getting in there?" Oh man, there's a lot to this question, though. So, <laughs> are they fucking once a day? Right, it's all day, times. every right, day. Right, that's what I'm yeah. saying. So if your parents are some fucking horny motherfuckers, like if it was be... my dad, I'm in trouble. Y- yeah, <laughs> yeah, your dad, yeah. your dad slings dick, bro. Yeah, that motherfucker still goes hard. But that's what I'm saying. So if it's like once a day, uh, but I mean, if they're fucking multiple times a day, bro, it could be scary. So what are you, what are you doing then? You just got to duck under those wires. I don't know, man. Based, all right. So let's say on average, right, they fuck twice a day. That's serious, that's bro. Ser- that's serious fucking right there, dude. Twice a day. Twice a day. God bless. Three him. times a week. I mean, you can only watch reruns so long. Let's so. go with that. We're gonna we're gonna give it an average. That why don't you fuck just do twice one, a day? Why don't you just do once week. once a day? <laughs> nah, twice a day, three times a week. So it's really Davy Davy Mathematics. All right, so twi- twice 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 a day. Now, how intense is it fucking? Are they just like missionary? All right, we're getting crazy now. Yeah. Twice a day, three times a week. 
It is what it is. Yeah, but all this shit is important, though. Like, if they're just some, like, old folk missionary position, it's like... It's not the question, you think, though. You, just, think, you think after a while you, you just get used to it? Like, oh, it's just my parents you fucking. You can't put like, parameters no on how people fuck, because I fuck differently every time. Yeah. Nice, Dave. Shit. So I guess... I'm I sure get, your lady appreciates that, throwing her different fucking looks. I guess I'm going to get in. You got to keep that I'm bitch gonna, on her toes. I'm going to get in. Or on her back sometimes. You know I'm in. Saying? I'm uh, getting in. You got you jumping in and ending it? Yeah, I have to. Who are you throwing it in? By my dad, because I don't like him that much. I'm gonna fuck him hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but here's the thing: you got to jump in, which means you got to finish, dog. Yeah, I can finish. No, I said jump in. Didn't say, I can finish. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I got some, no problem. Some, some, real, some real hate fuck going on. Damn. All right, so Nick's Nick's finishing, Luigi. Damn. <laughs> Look at Lu- <laughs> Luigi. You don't Luigi's have to think this hard about it, dude. Sex I'm, multiple times with, I'm, I'm, with your closest friends. What's with, yeah. what's your mom and dad? Luigi's like, does it have to end? He's like, I wish we could just keep fucking each other every day. <laughs> Luigi loves his mother, though. That's why he's kind of I love my so mom. Show her how much. My dad's a piece of shit, and I haven't seen him in, like, a long time. Um, oh, man. Know. I might dude. be fucking... Damn, I might, I might serious. on this one. I... Well, you can't. Can you watch your parents fuck for the rest of your life? I feel like I'd be numb no. to it after a while. Like I just walk you know, by. I probably like, oh, do the same thing you did. Oh, you have to watch. Take, you take can't, it all out on your dad. Yeah, you can't just walk past him and see it. You have to sit there and watch until they're completed. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. dude. Oh, true. You're sitting in the room on like a fucking leather chair, and that's with what, your and legs crossed. Fucking, watch. No, no TV. <laughs> you know what? I'd probably do that because I don't want to put my mom through having parents? to having to see him ever again. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd probably yeah I'd probably do what you do. Rip it apart. Yeah. <laughs> Torch that b hole. Happy yeah, birthday, I Dad. I'd fuck my father so my mother wouldn't have to see him ever again. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, Remy, you had all this time to think about it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's it's a, a, this kid's yeah. got a good question. Yeah. I could, I could think fucking all day about this. This is fucking... Yeah, shout out to Ronnie Not So Long Legs on Instagram. <laughs> 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 Ronnie Normal Legs. Yeah. Not so long I legs. I love that. Is Honestly, not so long legs. I don't think I could jump in. I'd have to just watch. I'd, I'd just have to coach Damn. them both. Like, yeah, but like you be yo, you be getting ready to go out, and all of a sudden, like you're like, fuck. like come on, yeah, Dave. Yo, Dave. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a half an hour. Why? Ah, my parents are fucking. Again. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, yeah Dave. but like, I feel like I like my dad. I'd be able to like, like dad, schedule this for me. You know, like <laughs> I got shit to do today, and I just turn. I'd, I'd, I'd figure out a way to monetize. Yeah, it. but like, now you put parameters on it, dude. You can't just like. Schedule sex? You fuck any time. Yo, your dad's, ask your dad's probably still fucking, right? <laughs> like, Dad, come on. I plead with him. Dad, I'd come on. Hook a brother help up. Dad, me out. Like, schedule this. I got, sh- I got shit to do. Yeah. Just fuck got, only in the morning, and I'd find a way. I, I got I'd, a private at 11.30, and then at 1.30, I got another private. So how's, like, like 2 o'clock, yeah. maybe 3 o'clock? Yeah. Or I could use that as my crutch. Like, yo, guys, I can't make it. I got to cancel. There's something I didn't really want to go do. <laughs> oh, it's my dad. My dad broke the contract and started yep. fucking. <laughs> you remember I'd that? Turn it, I'd, I'd make an Instagram page, like, the, the daily fuck. You remember that deal I made? Yeah, my bad. I can't make it yeah, to that birthday party. You can party. make him an OnlyFans. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd make an OnlyFans, and I'd just, like, I'd make him, like, Dad, dress up as a clown today. Do this, do that. <laughs> like, I'm like, Yo, <laughs> how, Dave, how old's your father? He's 80. And he's still fucking, right? Dude, my dad is still fucking. God he, bless he him, He went out God of his way. Him. I think I've told the story before about how he forgot to tell me he had cancer, and uh, his way of letting me know that he was still healthy, he called me back after the conversation, be like, just so you know, you know, my wife, he's like, I'm 80 years old, my wife's 23 years younger than me. And, uh, you know, I still want to have sex all the time. He's like, you know, we have sex at least four times a week and she gets mad at me. I'm like, did you really just call me back to tell me this? <laughs> and he's like, well, you know, I, I, you know, I don't have any problems. I'm still healthy. He's like, you know, they say if you take Viagra, you know, I don't need Viagra, but if you did and you have a heart on for more than four hours, they tell you to call a doctor. He goes, I say you call four more broads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, then you, so if you take that bet, dude, you ain't doing shit for the rest of your life, yeah, bro. So he tells you me, fucked. he's like, you know. fucked, bro. He's like, we had sex last night, and I tried, I tried to have sex again. She's like, we had sex last night. He's like, yeah, I ate dinner last night, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, so she's 57 and he's 80? Yeah. Damn, what a stud. Dude, my dad, yo, so when I was in middle school, my dad was 50 years old. He had a 30-year-old girlfriend. That's gangster. Damn. And he kicked me out of my room. Because he moved that bitch into the house, and she had two kids, and I got kicked out of my room so her kids could have a room. So where'd you go Damn, to? Damn, so dude. Keep fucking. You moved out, or you Damn. went to, like, the couch? Like, so he owes me a few. You know what I'm uh, saying? I'm like, yeah. Dad, you owe me, so you're, you're, you're only fucking in the morning, otherwise I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, but you still fuck, though, bro. If he's fucking four times a, a week, man, you ain't doing shit. Yeah. Clear, clear your agenda, bro. 
I just figured out a way to monetize it. I don't think I could get it. Dude, I don't think I could get in that arena. Yeah. I can't get in there. And first of all, like, my dad set a pretty high standard. What if I get in there and disappoint him? Uh, <laughs> that's a category. There's, like, mature, like, granny porn out there, bro. There is, you can make, you can make a few porn. bucks off you know, of it. No, and, I, yeah, I just couldn't do it. I'd I like the idea it. of trying to make money off of it. That's what I'd have to try to do. That's good. Because I couldn't get in there. I couldn't fuck my dad or my mom. I just couldn't. I wouldn't be able to do it. Dave's a hustler, What man. about you, Pat? Um, So it's either watch or join. Yeah. And if you got to watch at their time. All when they're the time. Fucking. Anytime. My dad's not going too long, so. You joining? No, I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch. Um, He's got like like three minutes in him. That's it? Yeah, so. <laughs> I'll be I'll be able. And he's, and he's old. He's only fucking maybe once a week now. Good you know hu- A good 180 seconds. 50. That's all Pat has to deal with. <laughs> yeah. Fifty. Yeah, he he smokes a lot of weed too, so he's gonna be high all the time. So yeah, so maybe he won't fuck that often. Exactly, you know. You get, I don't know. You I don't f- get much motivation like when you're stoned. You gotta like, you gotta sit there and watch. I can't like close my eyes. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching. You're watching. Uh, I, I'm not trying to fuck him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's either watch or fuck, and I'm not trying to fuck him. So. Yes, you're watching. Yeah, I'm watching. You gotta watch. Yeah, That's on the Bluetooth. You're connected to the Bluetooth. Terrence, what about you, Terrence? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Dave's like wilding out on Instagram right now. I'm just ruining my whole train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, that stinks, man. I hop in and then we only get to do it once. We can't just keep doing it every day. <laughs> 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 no, I, pro- I probably wouldn't. Uh, I'd probably be with Dave, spectate. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know if I could throw it in my mother. <laughs> well, what about your dad? <laughs> I don't think I could throw it in him either. We have the same name. It's kind of weird. I'm a junior. <laughs> You're a junior. Yeah. They'd be kind of fucked. I, I mean, mean, so that so if you have a threesome with somebody, do you, like, you have to, like, fuck? Can't you just, like, watch. jerk off and watch? Yeah, you're going to jerk off I mean, to some, your parents fucking. But some people do that at threesome. Yeah, they do do that. The girl's sitting there, it's she's, she's clicking the cuck, mouse. Yeah, cuck yeah but if you're if you're just jerking it, you're a spectator. Um, yeah. You're not actually but, involved. But you are participating. Yo, nah, yo, Mike. You're watching their act. Mike, you see your Doing shirt? Doing your own thing on the yeah, side. Yeah, that's I'm not, that's you not see your shirt? I'm going to need you to go ahead and just go do that, buddy. Get the fuck out of town. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, Mike. Ask, yeah, let's Mike. Let's ask Mike this question. Yeah, come over Mike, here. come here. And don't clam up. Since talk into, talk into, Lu- talk into Luigi's microphone. Always barging in. And you gotta Mike, talk directly into it. This here's is the question. No, put that thing up to your face. The front of it. Here's the question. What's the question? You have to watch your parents fuck every day of your life, and the only way to get it to stop is to jump in one time and make it a threesome. What are you doing? What would you rather do? Watch uh, talking to the mic. Talking to the Fuck that. So what are you doing? To the you're mic. You, have, you have to do one. You yeah, have to watch. I shut the door. I shut no, you have, no you, ha- you have to watch. I have to watch. You have to or watch fuck. it every day, and the only way to stop it is to jump in one time and make it a threesome. What are you doing? Look at me, thinking. He's like, oh, fuck, my, I don't my know. mom's hot. My mom's hot. Dude, no, hell no. He, he's like, I always wanted to fuck hot. my mom. I fucking know my mom. Everyone says I look like my mom, so I'd be fucking myself then. Oh man, so that's horrible. Easy. So then horrible. I guess I'm going to jump in once and get the fuck be done. Stop moving your fucking head, you yo, idiot. I've, yo, <laughs> I have never seen <laughs> somebody You're have such a hard time keeping their head still. That was insane. Luigi literally was like moving the mic <laughs> and he was still finding a way to like not talk into it. <laughs> he sounded like this. Every time he talked, it was yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, it sounded nuts. I got to be honest with you, the way, the way Luigi managed that, he definitely takes charge in a threesome. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's a click commander. <laughs> Click commander. <laughs> Once again, uh, Mike is useless. <laughs> you're this you're oh dis- two. This guy disappoints us like a little more every time oh we see him. Oh and two. Him. Looking clown. Um. So we got. They're all tough questions, dude. We got nothing from Sean. No, nothing from Sean. It was good though. It was a good question. Solid question. These boys are trying to order some shit. Yeah, fucking ship pipes are retard. Oh god. Yeah, listen, I give him some credit, man. He came today, he came to the clutch. Fuck him. His little his little bitch episode the other night, I'll I'll erase that for this one time. Damn. <laughs> He's getting a pass. Yo, so I smoked a little bit of jazz cabbage the other night. Jazz cabbage? <laughs> and my my mind was running and I was just thinking about I like, like if, that. if I was if I Did you just make that up? Nah, it's a known thing. Jazz, ca- I've heard of the devil's lettuce. Devil's lettuce, jazz, yeah. cabbage. Yeah. Yeah, jazz cabbage, jazz cabbage. I've heard, I've heard cool. of uh, the devil's dandruff. Devil's dandruff. Yeah, that's cocaine. Was that the cocaine? Was that like the name of the 
of the strand? Like, where, no, where that's just like a, I don't know. It's just like a funny name to call uh, weed. It is a funny name. I like but, it. But my mind, my mind was running. I was thinking if I sold like uh, it, it says it's a strain. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, if I if I sold drugs, I feel like the best way to like not get caught is like if you were like a pizza delivery guy. Like if you're you're dropping off a that's pie, original. they ask you. They ask you. No, no, no. <laughs> I know it's I know it's not original, but I'm surprised. Like I wonder if it's going on or if people do it because I feel like it's Dude, so difficult to get caught. No, you're the man, first you, person that's. Oh, no, listen, thought. listen. You are a pizza delivery guy and Uber eats. No, it was in a movie. It was in a movie. Listen, exactly. it takes it takes one person to get caught by the cops and they're like, Where, "Where'd you get this weed from?" Yo, I got it from Terry G. Yo, who's Terry G? Yo, he's the pizza guy. Yo, all right. Anybody notice anything different about Dave lately? <laughs> no. I don't know. He looks like he got a little darker in the beard. You're wilding right now. He's You're like- wilding. <laughs> <laughs> you got the fountain of youth. Cap'n. <laughs> Cap'n. D-Rock's trying something out new. That's all he's doing. You want to know the truth? Yeah, go ahead. Laying in bed with Alexa. I was like, damn, my, my shit's getting fucking gray as well. It looks good at gray, though. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. Oh, damn. Thanks, Thank so. You. I'm like, I don't really have a problem with it, but she brought it up. She's like, "Why don't you dye it?" And I was like, "Nah." So then I tried it. And I don't like it. I think it. I think <laughs> I it. Like I think it. it looks. I think it looks good gray. I don't. Yeah, I don't like. I it like, like it gray too. Yeah, I don't like it like this. You rock the gray well. Appreciate you. Yeah, it looks man. good on you. We, I know it's at dinner though. I wasn't gonna say nothing. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I tried it out. It's not my thing. Whatever. Also, it takes I too like much it time. Better than nothing it took, there it took a bunch. Of, it's not like jet black or anything. No, nah, it's it just too much just work. It's not something I do again. Why? Well, it took a while. Work. Did it like stain your skin nah, it didn't too? Take a while, was it hard to like wash like, it off your skin? It's just like it's not something I would. I have a beard because I'm too lazy to shave regularly. Uh, it's not something I'm like going to take time out of my day to do. Like, yeah, that. you look like a baby when you shave. Just, it looks so like, young. She said to try it. I was like, oh, whatever, try it out. See how it looks. I gotta shave. Don't like it. Oh, for the respirator at work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had to do that too. I don't mind it though. Yo, I, so I shaved like two weeks ago, but that's my thing. I like it when I first do it, and then like three days later, I'm like, I don't like the way this looks. Shave, uh, shave. I, don't, yeah. I don't like it at all. I like it. I like the skin smooth. Uh, yeah. Oh, you mean on me or for you? Both of us. Oh. I don't think it's a bad look. I think I it just, looks I think it looks good when you shave. I don't think too. it's a bad look. I think you look better with a beard though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, feel like I, like I think you look with, with like that much. Like I don't think you need like a big beard. Yeah, like, not just like a, full, like a little bit. Like, like you and Sam, Luigi have. Like, like I now. like it when I first do it, and then when I, like two days later I look at it, I'm like, I feel like I look weird and way too like almost too young. Yeah, yeah. My it's my strange. dog ate my clip that I was using for my stash. I thought you said so, eat my clip. No, <laughs> 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 that too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he did it, and I buzzed off like my mustache like down to the skin. I was like, oh my god, this looks ho-. like I almost didn't go to class. I did it right before jujitsu, and I'm like, I already RSVP to the class, oh and I'm god. like, I don't even want to be seen right now. I'm just gonna stay home for like a week. That's great. The mustache, those big things on your face, bro. Yeah, I I'll do. It. I'll do big things on your face too. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I might just shave it again now just to piss Luigi off, though. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Yo, I shaved, like, uh, it was probably, like, eight, nine years ago. The first time I'd shaved in, like, a decade, I walked into the gym, and uh, our buddy Mike saw me. This guy, Pantene, Dr. Kickass on uh, Instagram. I walked in. He looked at me from, like, five, like, a good five, six feet away, and he's like, nope, nope, no. Nope. He's like, get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, nope, I can't look at you. He's like. Come back when your beard's back. Like, I can't look great. at this. And, like everybody, everybody stopped and looked at me. Like, dude, what the fuck did you do? That's awesome. They're like, no, we can't do this. Really? And, uh, I think it looks. I don't know. I think it looks. I well, clean shaven. Nobody. Face. I'd never done it before. The first time I shaved yeah. in long, and I did it um, on a on a Saturday. We were at the casino. I worked a day shift. We took our break. I went downstairs and shaved, and I came back up for the night shift. Oh, that's awesome. shaving. Oh, that had to fuck everybody. Dude, up. everybody was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like, all the bartenders like, "Yo, we can't look at you like this." And then they're like, "I don't think you could work at the door. You look too young to be IDing people." Yeah, who's oh, this? That's great. Who's this child? You're like, let me see some ID. They're like, let me see yeah, some ID, no, motherfucker. Everybody was real upset. Actually, when, was when I shaved my my uh, five o'clock shadow, I had it forever, dude. Like ever since I got out of high school, I had facial hair, and I shaved it. My son was probably like 11 years old. And was just like, no, no. And I'm like, yeah, dude, it, since he was a baby, I always had something on my face, you know? He was like, no, you're not my father. Yeah, dude. He's like, no, why'd you sh-? I'm like, I had to shave it, dude. Like, come on. Oh, this is when you I started at Grit? Yeah. yeah. I've never shaved yet. Yeah, you should. I mean, really? Like, I'll, like, well, you haven't been, like, baby all the time? No, nah, not since I have my beard. You ever take it down, like, all the way with, like, a buzzer? You, no. did, a couple, you did a couple weeks ago. Wait, Dave, what? Yeah, like. Dave's dying over here. Yo, so when I when I did shave, I walked in. I walked in here. Pat was here. I don't remember who else was here, but somebody brought up 
you know, shave it or Pat, somebody was like, yeah, you know, I can't, it might've been shit pipe talking about how he couldn't grow a beard. Yeah. Pat's like, you just got to keep shaving and, and that, that, that's what does it. I'm like, no, that's not what this does. <laughs> I have heard he's people like, say that, like it grows in thicker when it you shave it. It doesn't though. It just changes the angle at which the follicle grows back in. But he's like, no, nah, bro. He's like, it works. I'm like, no, it doesn't. He's like, bro, how are you going to tell me it doesn't work? I shaved every day for four years and then four years later I had a beard. I'm like, you don't think the four years had anything to do with that? <laughs> I, went in, I went in the Navy at fucking 19. I get out with a, and I just start growing a beard. I'm like, oh, this is sick. I'm like, damn, I must be getting older, right? Like, the shaving really worked. <laughs> T-Rock's like, no, you idiot. You went in when you were fucking 18. You got out. Now you're a man. You got beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it had nothing to do with the fucking shaving every day, that's like, that's like Ronnie with the mouthpiece, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. This dude, fucking he couldn't wrap clown. He's like, no, man. He's like, they say if you shave every day. I Googled it that. and everything. I'm like, this guy's fucking bullshit. I'm like, you don't <laughs> I'm There's like, no you don't fucking think way. the four years might have had something to do with it that you kept growing? He's like, bro, I already went through puberty. I'm like, bro, oh. you're still growing. He's like, I don't know, man. He Googles it. He's like, damn, you're right. I guess I never thought about that. Four years is a lot. That is a <laughs> long time. A long fucking yeah, time. four years is a long yeah, ass time, yeah, dude. I definitely. I felt like an idiot after that. <laughs> That's point. hilarious. Time. I got a beard now, so, you know, hey, <laughs> dude, <laughs> some you, good came out of it. You I should have taken a picture. The look on his face, he's like, Damn, you're right. I was and thinking then, about shaving it again to kind of get it in thicker, you know? <laughs> so then somehow we started talking about Tupac and shit, and he brought up, he said something like, uh, Tupac died in 90. I was like, nah, dude. I was like, Tupac died September 96. Biggie died, oh, died March 97. He's like, nah, bro, nah. I'm like, yes. He Googles it. He's like, damn, bro, you're right again. <laughs> Yo, it was two in a row. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I got to stop questioning D-Rock when it comes to shit. <laughs> He's like, listen, I don't know a lot, but what I know, I fucking know. I was like, I'll give you that. You're like a fucking Siri right now. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I learned a lot that day. You, know, <laughs> you don't have to go to school, kids. <laughs> just, just come yeah. to Island Kava and talk to D-Rock. Hang out with D-Rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking guys giving me life lessons over here. Follow it, Changed though. my whole fucking view. Yeah, that's so funny. You know. Thanks, though. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, I haven't Thanks shaved. Thanks for shit. <laughs> First episode, I look like a fucking jerk off now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for shit. Yeah. Jerk off with of the beard. That's a fact. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. I, I feel like the beard becomes you, though. Like, if I shave my beard now, I have a baby face, too. I look like a fucking child. Yeah, Same. of course. Same. Yeah, you know, it, it, like, it changes it everything. It becomes, it, like, it's it's a part of you. It's yeah, like, like what you wear, almost. Like, the yeah. hats you wear, the clothes you wear. Like, you come with it, like you said, people looked at you like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Like yeah. your whole identity changes. Yeah, because that beard hides a lot of like your 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 characteristics of your face, like your jawline, your cheeks, I'm and just, shit. I like D Rock said, I'm just too fucking lazy. Like yeah. I'll literally get my beard like whatever cleaned up or shaved whenever I go to the barber. Yeah, like, when is I that? Don't fucking do that. When is yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't this fucking morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how much. I was up I at seven. I don't know what happened, dude. I said my get alarm. To talk right now, Pat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what yeah. happened. Yeah, I woke Pat, up at six was, o'clock. Uh, I brushed my teeth, and somehow I woke up at eight thirty in my bed. That's <laughs> literally <laughs> what his excuse was. He's supposed to be at eight. I got up at fucking seven. You know what I'm saying? I get to the, sh- the shop at eight. He's like, well, yeah, man. My brother fucking doesn't work on set on Sundays. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, yeah, man. Uh, I got up at six thirty, brushed my teeth, and then I just woke up at eight thirty. What? Yeah, it's so Dude, funny. An, you have a memory lapse? <laughs> yeah. No, I took an edible last night. And Motherfucker's I time traveling over there. Yeah, and shit. Jesus Christ. It's like problem. limitless. I know. I was surprised to see Pat there. To be honest with I you, I know. I'm not. A, I'm not a real morning person, but when I am, I'm up early. Oh. Yeah, no. I was surprised to see you there What's early. Up? How's it going? <laughs> What's up, Spiro? We got a you, we got a, a a buddy in the house. We're kind of a special guest here. Uh, Yo, Mike, nobody's oh, talking to you. Shut damn. the fuck up. Shut Uh-oh. up. Uh oh, here we go. Someone get the camera. Someone get the camera. Oh shit! Damn. Here he comes. Yo, so Pat Pat was supposed to cut my hair for me. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to <laughs> supposed to cut my hair. We show up here at Kava, and he starts talking about how he canceled all his appointments. And I'm like, so you're telling me you're, you're not cutting my hair? He's like, oh, fuck, D-Rock. I forgot I was supposed to cut your hair. My bad, my bad. I'm like, thanks, bro. That was thanks. the funniest shit I was ever. like, oh, well. Yeah, I canceled all my appointments I just canceled. <laughs> D-Rock's like, wait, I was one of your appointments, bro. <laughs> I was bragging like the all day of training. I was like, yeah, fuck, I don't have shit to do today. We're all hanging out. I took off. I canceled everything. I see D-Rock. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I was supposed to cut your hair. Shit. That was funny. That was karma Yo. for this morning. You know what's weird? I just realized we took our little like what two week hiatus. There hasn't, there was not like a whole lot of jujitsu or fights to talk about. Like you know, no, there was. I mean that this this past UFC card wasn't that wasn't like you know anything special. Anything to write about. I mean, we did watch the um, 
Emerald City last night. What was it? Emerald, Emerald Shout City. out Danny. So, yo, we were talking about this last night. We were talking about the um, the rule set, right? So, the EBI style rule set, right? So, yep. it's like 10 minutes sub only. Yep. And then the overtime is uh, back position or the spider web arm bar. Yep. Spider web arm bar. And so, Nick brought up a good point. He's like, you know, you watch some of these matches and there's not a lot of engagement. Yeah, they're just trying to coast to the overtime. Yeah, they want to get to the overtime. So, we were like... We're saying there's no like perfect rule set, so we were discussing like what to do differently. And also too, it doesn't really it doesn't really determine who's the better jits guy. Exactly, because you wind up not engaging the entire ten minutes, and then when you get to the overtime, you're already put in a bad position. Half the half the fight is getting that guy in that bad position. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like you're given you, that instead, right? So how are you really gonna gauge who's better? Right, and at that level, guys are finishers. Right. So I thought. We, we kind of got onto something last night because well, we started talking about like what a better rule set would be. So I said, the, yeah, the Jits and Tits Invitational. Yeah, dude. Right? You do 10 minutes, sub only, five minute overtime, sub only still, right? If, if it's still a draw at the end of that, you go into the non-finishers bracket. Yeah. And what I mean by that is like, so say me and Nick are the first match, we don't, we, we, it, it's a good draw. Then Luigi and Terrence are the second match, but Luigi finishes. Aww. Luigi. Luigi advances <laughs> Luigi advances into the to the next round of the bracket where me and Nick don't. So we may have to do like a, like a wrestle back. So say there's say there's 16 people in the tournament, right? And two people finish and four people don't. It becomes a new a, a sub bracket of the non-finishers where now I don't go against Nick again. I go against somebody else who didn't finish. Right. We have to do a 10 minute Round sub only. If there's no sub in that ten minutes, the next five minutes are points. Yeah. And if you win that, then you're back into the original tournament. Yep. Into and it's the, an, it's the an finishers incentive. bracket. And it's an incentive so that people actually have to finish because right. you don't want to keep adding matches on because if you do want them coming out of the loser bracket and getting into the winners oh, bracket, yeah, you might have went like three or four. Correct. Exactly. And Luigi, matches. you might have yeah, just yeah. skated through and did three rounds, yeah. and now you're in the finals. Especially if I'm going against Terrence. Yeah. But it's also good if you are, like, say, going to the loser's bracket because it gives you that chance to, like you said, wrestle back all the way to still winning. Right, like, but you're, you're, you're going to be the, gassed, though. Yeah, but I'm saying it's... So it's, it's an incentive it's, so that you don't lose your gas. No, like yeah, you, 100%. But I'm saying is it also gives an opportunity for somebody who had a bad match right. to fight all the way back. Correct. You know, yeah. because you couldn't, you can have one bad match, but then fuck everybody else for the Correct. rest of the day, you know, yeah. and still be the champion. Yep. And, and I think that... And, and you, you earned it. You didn't just get like, oh, I just took his back and gained the rule set. Correct. It it it, for, it incentivizes, like you were saying, it can incentivizes everybody to try to finish. Yeah, to because engage. Because if you don't, you may have to do six more matches just to get to that last right. match. Incentivize cannot be a real word. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Dude, now we have to fucking now we can't release this podcast. Why? <laughs> oh, because of the rule set. Because <laughs> the rule set, bro. It's the just intention. Of yeah, yeah. Now people are gonna we have take to be the it. first. Yeah. But also too though. That rule set last night, like I kind of understood why some people were just like, like flow rolling, because they were trying to preserve their gas tank for those last couple rounds, those last couple matches. But or it, for that overtime, because they want to go as hard as they can on that's that. That's true back. too. Yeah. yeah, and it just it, it it makes for shitty grappling. That's what it does. You sit there for ten minutes and watch two guys just not engage, just like flow roll. No one's grabbing. No one's or owning what about a position. The, the two people uh, who fucking wrestled the whole time. Yeah. Last was the last ten seconds. The one guy pulled guard. It's like that's not jujitsu. Yeah, you know, as much as I love wrestling, like it's not jujitsu. Yep, you absolutely. Know? There has to be a better way. And I think I think the the jits and tits invitational is the way to go. Yeah. And right. then what did you guys? I thought it was kind of bullshit last night in like that like 170 pound uh, tournament we were watching. That dude just finished a match and then he had to jump right back into dude, the other right one into when, the, the finals, when, when yeah. the other when the other guy was clearly resting for at least the fifteen minutes at this because yeah, he won it, was about. well ten minutes because he went in like overtime. Dude, I thought he crazy. should have had some kind of like relief at least like ten minutes like a breather. He went from like they put his arm up and then he fu- put his arm down and they were like slapping. Let's do it. I was just gonna say that to you, Dave. I was just waiting until I finished this thought. Incentivize is in fact the word. I stand corrected. Dave, another one, bro. This guy's undefeated <laughs> back here, man. <laughs> He's just dropping knowledge all fucking day, man. <laughs> Pearls of wisdom. That's it, man. Uh, yeah, so they, we need my vocabulary. And, and why do you guys not like uh, the point system 
Uh, why, why you prefer sub only as opposed to? Because well, with the point system, you get sandbaggers. You get guys that like hold on to two points in the first minute oh, or two. Install. Yeah, and they'll just and ride the, you out. Yeah, they're not yeah, looking for the sub again. True. They're playing. The, they're playing the so rule like get, set. Get a sweep and then just trying to like. Yeah, or they'll sit the there on their guard. feet, like what we were saying before. Remy and I, they'll sit on their feet for the five minute match. They'll be on their feet, just like grip fighting for four and a half minutes. In the last ten seconds, they'll shoot a power double, get two points, and that's the end of the match. There's no. There's literally. There's no perfect way to do it because if you do sub only. The match could go forever. Yeah, no, right. with, with no cool with either. no time limits. Yeah, yeah we so were talking about no that. perfect formula. Yeah, I was like, why is there? Uh, why don't they just do no time limit? Like, kind of like with Gordon Ryan, like his specific rule set. Like when he's doing these super fights, like that's what it's like sub only. Like that's what he rolls with. And I was like, yeah, if there's 16 guys in a tournament, like some of these matches could take like an hour. Well, and dude, people the good fight, all, which is it. a local tournament, started doing that. And some of these, it's a local tournament, dude. They'd be there all day. Some of these matches were two hours. Yeah, it's the first match. That's you crazy. know, and if you have two like, hours with no break. Yeah, they're just oh rolling for two hours. God. And that could be the first match of the bracket, dude. Yeah, just imagine how long you know, you'll be there for. the whole day. If one, and, and now, you'll be say, there till Christmas. Yeah, fuck that. That's incredible, there's no being per- able to go for a fucking no two hours. There's no perfect way to do it. There's just no perfect system. Yeah, because, I mean, people are going to get smart, and they're going to figure out a way how to play the, the rules. Yeah, yeah every rule a, set's going to be gamed yep. somewhere. Yeah, except the Jits and Tits Invitational rule set. That is flawless. People will start to j- game that, too, to some degree. But Never. It'll still. It makes it harder for them to play the system. Incentivize though. you. <laughs> God, path of least go resistance. <laughs> you have a, the path of least resistance would be to get the sub as opposed to going wrestle backs. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah, a way, way to bigger go, way to tie those two together. <laughs> yep. There you go. So, oh, we got it. We're an hour and ten in. All right, we can wrap it. Hit some scrambles. Get some content out for the kids. All right. All right. Thanks for listening, motherfuckers. Yeah, check us out. We'll be at Naga dishing out T-shirts. Catch us in AC end of the month. Hey, uh, how can we incentivize our listeners to send us some more questions? I don't know. <laughs> You'll get featured? Yeah, I don't know. Give him a shirt. Yeah. I guess we could give the kid a shirt. That was a good I'll, question. Yeah. Yeah, I'll we'll give definitely. him an oil check. Ooh, <laughs> that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, yo, thanks for listening. Peace. Toodles. Ta-ta.